Hi, today I wanted to review the Parker Jotter with you. Um, it comes in a pretty cool box. It looks nice. Um, I've been using this for... Hey! Shh! <laughs> I've been using this for several weeks. and Or whatever I bought it. I think it was a few weeks ago. And so um, I wanted to give you a review where it was more than a first impression. But I believe this was how it came packaged. I don't think there was anything else you know, that was special about it. It just came in that nice box. Um, it comes in a bunch of different colors. I got the black, and I found that ordering from Jet Pens was not my cheapest option. I should have looked on Amazon, but, you know, <laughs> lesson learned. But anyway, it's still a really cool pen. Um, let me move this so you have more contrast. It's a brushed metal bottom, and the top has a cool graph pattern, and I really love the clip. It's shaped like a little arrow. Um, the pen measures, I think it's pretty much exactly five inches from tip to tip. Yeah, it is. And um, I have to say that I really like the look of this pen. It kind of has a little bit of a retro feel to me. Um, and I like that there's not a whole lot of um, branding on the side. You can see that it says Parker right along the bottom there. Um, it's etched in, but I don't even I don't even notice it when I'm using the pen. Um, it's a nice heavy pen for how small it is. You can see it's a pretty slim pen. Um, if I had something, if I grab something for comparison. So here's an here's an example because I think most people know this. Here's a sharpie pen next to this pen. It's pretty small, and in fact, if I grab my Poquito, it is, I would say, maybe even narrower than the Poquito, which is really tiny, and you can see it in comparison. So Sharpie pen, and um, Monteverdi Poquito, and then the Parker Jotter. So it's a pretty small pen. It's nice for um, like a purse or a pocket, especially if you don't have to make you don't have to write a lot, just like a quick note or check something off of a list. Um, I think this would be an ideal work pin for somebody or like a purse pin, kind of an everyday carry kind of pin because it's got a nice weight to it. It's metal. It's sturdy. There's nothing sharp to catch on anything. It does have a nice clip. I don't use pen clips very often, um, but it seems to be quite springy and... Um, pretty sturdy. It's not, I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. It looks like the pen clip is a solid metal band around it, so. Um, I think it's excellent for those uses. Even though I have small hands and I like a small pen at times, I find that for an extended writing session, this pen is not very comfortable for me. Um, it's, I hold the pen right about here, so where I'm holding it, it is so narrow, it's hard to keep a good grip on it. Um, let's measure. You can kind of see, that's like an eighth of an inch at the tip, an eighth of an inch opening. And so when I go down to like here, it's not much more than that. I don't have a whole lot of pen to hold on to. It's not by any means slippery because it has that brush texture, but it's not, enough to grip it, you know, to, to keep it gripped in my hand so that it doesn't push down when I'm writing. Now, if I had a better refill, um, I think that the writing would be a little more effortless, which I'll talk about when I'm doing a writing sample, but, um, and that might prevent the pressure, you know, pushing the pen through my hand. But I guess what I'm trying to say is, if I'm writing something at, for any length of time, I'm not going to use this pen because it's just it's not comfortable for the reasons I mentioned. Um, when I hold the pen, it feels much more weighted up here at the top. It's much lighter at the bottom, which makes it just kind of tip back into your hand. Um, I have to say that one of the most satisfying things about this pen, other than I think the looks, is the click. That is a click that makes you go, wow, I just really, you know, <laughs> clicked a pen. <laughs> Uh, I, when my husband opened the package and he first tried it, when I first tried it, I went, wow, that's, that's nice. Like, I liked it. It was a satisfying click. And when my husband pulled the pen out of the package and he did the same, that was his first comment that he noticed how nice the, the mechanism was in here. 
So if you're the type of person that likes to do this, this would probably be a good pen for you and would drive everybody crazy around you. But, um, you know, whatever, it's your pen. Like if I compare it to something like this, you know, that's just a meh. But this is... It's still solid, like bounces back in your hand. So I really like the clicking. I, I that's just one of its high points, I think. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a writing sample. Talk about the refill that's in here, and talk about um, a refill I purchased. So I am just using the Arc Junior notebook, just the lined paper, and let's. Right now, I haven't written with this at all today. Uh, maybe like in the past couple days. I this is in my drawer and I frequently use it, but like I said, not for any length of time. And um, so it all this is to say that I haven't used it today or anytime soon. So we'll see how the refill performs. It just comes with a ballpoint refill, and I think it's probably a medium or something. I don't believe it said anything about it on the the packaging. So this is the. Parker Jotter Ballpoint. And I'm guessing it's some sort of a medium refill in blue. Now, I really like um, the, the color of the refill. I like that it came with blue instead of black. I'll try to get you a, a better angle or a better look at that. I like the blue instead of the black, um, just because I like blue ink, I like blue ink in my pens, but this is certainly, you know, when when we have other pens to compare it to, like um, the Acroball or something that has a hybrid ballpoint gel ink in it, it kind of puts the regular ballpoint to shame, I think. Just because, I mean, I know it's not the same, but it's so close to the same that it's like, why wouldn't you just pick the hybrid over a regular ballpoint? It's going to work better every time. Um, so this doesn't, I, I was really skeptical about what would actually come with the pen. I thought it was going to be pretty terrible. This isn't bad. It's, to me, it just reminds me of nothing special as far as a ballpoint goes. And I love ballpoint pens. I'm, I love all pens. So I am definitely not like above a ballpoint. It's just, it, there's nothing special about it. I would say it's probably better quality than maybe um, a really low end ballpoint just because it doesn't skip and I haven't experienced any kind of like blobs or, or anything like that, any kind of uneven ink flow. The, I think for what it is, it's a very nice ballpoint. But with hybrids out there, you know, I would always make that choice, I think. Now, I like it. Like I said, I think it's like a medium. It's a very smooth writing experience. Um, and, you know, of course, you have no dry time because it's a ballpoint. Um, I've never had a problem with startup. It, no skippiness at the beginning. So sometimes I have pens that it's like every time I make an upstroke when I first start a word, it skips. I don't experience that, that with this. Um, and there's no problem starting it up even though it's sat in the drawer for an extended length of time. Um, I discussed with you my issues with basically the comfort of the pen because it's so small and you have to, you know, apply some pressure. It just makes writing, I don't know, I feel like I have to grip the pen really hard and it just kind of, um, you know, fatigues my hand. So because I was skeptical of what would come with it, I went ahead and ordered this, a moleskin um, 0.7 millimeter Brilliant Blue Roller Pen Refill Gel. That's what it's called. Um, I ordered this as well from Jet Pens. I don't know where I had heard that the ink was really good, um, but I thought, you know, I like gel pens better than ballpoints typically, and so I'll just get this. Well, let's try it, shall we? So this is kind of a double review. This is a re review for that refill and for this pen. So this is what came with it. This is the refill that came in the moleskin. So you just stick it in there, screw it back together. Now if this works, I will correct myself completely on this video. But 
I haven't tried this refill in a while. Um, I've been really busy, and so I hope to have more videos more frequently here soon. Um, so I haven't really, you know, played with this refill since I opened it and was immediately completely disappointed. It was terrible. It wouldn't write evenly at all. It, it barely wrote. So let's see if that's what happens because Jet Pens told me to try a couple different things, which I, in full disclosure, did not try. But maybe just sitting here in my house, it, it's made it better. Okay, so you see how it started off strong. It looked really nice. Here we go. Now I'm pushing really hard. Now I'm not pushing hard at all. I'm just letting it run across the paper. And I think you get the idea. I think you can see it. This was brand new out of the package. And this is the result I got. This has been my experience every single time I've tried to use this refill. And when I first got the pen and I put the refill in, I tried it over a period of time and it never worked. So I was very disappointed in that. I contacted Jet Pens. Now the refill I think was probably around $3. I have an account with Jet Pens. I spend a lot of money at Jet Pens. So this is a little thing about customer service. So I emailed them telling them that, well, so let me, actually let me back up. So my husband, I got him refills as well. I got him the same exact refill in blue and I got him one in black. So he puts the blue into his Parker Jotter. Actually, hey, hey, sweetheart. He's napping next to me. He is totally out. I was going to grab his Parker Jotter um, because it has the blue in there, but let's try his, his black refill. He puts the refill in, or I put it in there for him, and he start, I start writing, he writes with it, and every time, his are both, for the most part, perfect, as far as not skipping or anything like that. Now I have to say that as I'm looking at this black refill, it's definitely an uneven distribution of ink. That is to say, it is, it is not necessarily skipping, it's just an uneven distribution of the ink that's coming out of this cartridge. And I don't, it's not really showing up here on camera, it's much easier to see in real life, but it's almost like it's gray in parts, and then you have like an, a sort of solid black there, and then like gray. It's, it's a minor thing, but at least it actually worked, right? And in writing with it, it is less of an effort than with the ballpoint. If I'm totally honest, it is, um, it does come out, you know, without much pressure, although it does skip a little bit. It was just skipping on me. So I wasn't, mine wasn't working. The other two worked and I contacted Jet Pens and explained it. And I got an email back saying, well, you should try these things. And it was like boiling water, putting it under a hair dryer, doing various other things. I suppose the, I don't know, maybe I'm feeling entitled at this point, but I'm, sp I, I'm thinking, you know, the nice thing to do would just be to send me a real re refill that actually worked. What is it, like $3 or something? Um, they didn't. They sent me advice instead, which, okay. So, um, I don't know, maybe it would work. I don't have a hair dryer, and um, I just haven't really had the desire to... <laughs> to try to make a refill work. So, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that was kind of a, a weird sort of roundabout review. Um, but that was my experience with the Parker Jotter. So would I recommend this pen? I overpaid for it on Jet Pens. You can find it cheaper on Amazon. On Amazon, they're about seven to nine dollars a piece, um, and if you have Prime, you can get free shipping. So, for seven dollars, yeah, I would buy the pen if I wanted it. Um, they have a lot of different colors. I think they have like a red, a coral, a pink, a teal, um, an all metal, and a white. They might have a couple, maybe a yellow. I saw as well. They have more colors on Amazon, and they're cheaper on Amazon. Um, so. If you like the looks of it, I would say I would probably get one. It's not, for $7, you're not expecting, you know, something incredible, but you get, you're getting exactly what it says. You're getting a ballpoint pen that's decent. It looks nice. Again, I think this would be professional for work, and it would be durable enough 
to go in, you know, your purse or your pocket and, you know, just so you have a pen. Um, and if you lose it, you know, it was like seven, eight bucks and it, you, it can be replaced. Um, but yeah, it's nothing special, but it, it's pretty cool looking pen. And I, I like it. Um, I don't know that I could recommend the moleskin refills just because of my experience. Two out of the three worked. And so, you know, I think if one product doesn't work, that's not a good thing. But, you know, then when you let somebody know about it and, you know, whatever. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend these. I don't think for $3 that I would purchase these. I'll say that. I don't, even with it working, I don't know that it's, you know, worth the three dollars I would probably just use the refills that came in this and accept it for what it's worth which is a cool ballpoint so um, I hope that you found this informative thank you for watching and subscribing and liking this video um, and of course I always welcome your comments or your questions down below um, today I'm gonna make several videos I think because uh, this is like a totally unrelated side note to a review, my YouTube account no longer has restrictions on it. If you didn't know, I had read an audiobook, had a copyright infringement thing happen, and now I'm back after my, you know, I think it was like a six or a seven month restriction on YouTube. So thanks for sticking with me. Um, I hope you have a really great day. Bye.